All right, you guys, I'm in my car because it's about to go down. I'm about to put this PA system in here. I mean, speaker, whatever it's called. I'm about to have some sirens. I'm about to have a microphone. And I just got it because I just want to mess with people when they be driving too close. Like, back up, man. And, like, I just, I just got it for all the wrong reasons. But they got it for sale on Amazon. I'm going to put the link down below. And, hey, <clears throat> I got the money for it, so I'm going to get it. So, um, this one came with this big old speaker right here. Um, and this has to go like in the front of the car. Uh, this is the only thing I'm kind of nervous about how I'm going to get it on there. Cause I don't have any tools, um, except the tools that it came with. So hopefully I can get it on there without having to stop working and having to buy some tools or go to my grandparents' house and see if my pop-up got it because me and him was supposed to do it, but it's Rona right now. And unfortunately I did get sick and, um, I just... I'm just real scary about I just don't want to get nobody else sick even though like it's way past the two week mark but I'm just nervous about it so um what else it came with came with this little thing so hopefully I need this to do that uh it came with two of the tapes for the wiring and everything like that uh, it came with two baggies now let me just say now um I'm not really like I know a little bit about cars. Well, I know enough about cars. Like I know you're supposed to get an oil change um, and you're supposed to put gas in it. And I know that uh, mechanics be ripping people off sometimes, mainly females, I know that. So, um, but I did install this in my car, this screen right here. I have a 2015 Nissan Altima. So I did install that, like I installed something in my car. So I know like how to do a little something, something, but I'm not, I'm not a professional, so. If I say something wrong or if I don't do it right, I mean, what do you expect? Because I don't really know too much about cars, but my mom always taught me, like, to at least try and, you know, stuff like that. Like, just because you're a female doesn't mean you shouldn't know how to do certain things. So, this is me trying. Hopefully, I don't mess my car up. But I, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything, like, too crazy where I can, like, mess the car up. Because if I do, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Now, I'm recording on my uh, phone. So hopefully the quality is good. I'm going to try to get some good shots. And hopefully I do this right so I'm helping somebody else. Because I'm just doing this maybe that I can help somebody else. Because they have a few videos. But none of them were like really detailed and good enough for me to know what to do. So I'm like, okay, let me try to make a video. So uh, it came with these bags. It has the fuse uh, in there. In this one. And it has like some screws. And then this one has some screws too. I don't know what the screws are called. Um, but it has screws in the bag. Oh. Uh, it also has, um, let's see if I can get a good view. It has like some crappy directions. I honestly feel like they should just do a video on how to install it. Now, I know everybody doesn't have the same setup for a car, but I feel like the gist of it is the same. So I feel like they should have just had a video and said, push the link and that's how you do it. And they just show you a how to video. I feel like it should be like that for how to do anything, but, um, okay whatever but uh anywho so it also comes with um like this is i guess like the battery box or whatever i don't know like i said i don't know too much about cars uh i skimmed through the directions um i didn't read it too too much directions ain't my thing for real for real i rather i rather see video so yeah but um and then the thing with the buttons and all that so uh i got it last night it came through amazon and i got it last night and uh it it came late it came like at eight or nine so it was already dark outside so i couldn't install it last night but i was trying to be proactive and like do a few things um before uh i got in a car that i might have to like do like strip the wiring and stuff but i was being too overzealous with it and i did some stuff that i'm gonna have to undo because i didn't think about it like the wiring has to go through the front car. I have my hood up right now, but it has to go through this part and then come um, inside. So I was being too overzealous and like, you can't fit this big old thing through anything to do that. So I have to do undo some wiring. So, um, cause I had did the wiring for this. I like, uh, like stripped it or whatever. It connected those so the wiring can be longer and stuff, but I can't, I did it too early. I just did it too early. So I'm probably going to um, detach what I did yesterday, basically, and I have to reattach it later. But uh, like I said, the only thing I'm honestly worried about now, let me tell you my thought process with this, what I'm going to be doing. 
and hopefully that works of course we're going to see if it works <laughs> and if it doesn't work but my thought process is that um the speaker of course has to go in the front of the car like in the hood part somewhere it has to stay up there and i have to like bolt it down now i don't have any drills or anything so that's why i'm worried i do have the screws they gave me and i have this it did come with a screwdriver as well it's somewhere it's a it's a little screwdriver they gave me as well that came with it it came like this little box too so it might be in there but um but yeah i'm thinking to do that because it has to be in the front now this box right here has to be inside my car so i'm thinking to have it on the passenger side of my car i mean the driver's side of my car and have the box somewhere and then again i don't even know like space wise where it can fit because it's kind of tight in here i'm short so i'm i'm close to the stairwell, wheel so it's not that much space for me really maybe i can have it on the side right here um of the car get it Ooh, i'm dropping y'all already have it right there okay and then i'm thinking so the wiring with it now again don't know too much about cars but i can read and that's one part i did make sure that i did understand was the wiring part because again <laughs> i don't want to blow nothing up i don't want to electrocute myself like so the red uh and the black the red and the black go to the battery of the car and that you know what starts it so the red is positive and then the black is negative that's what they, they have on the paper um and then i just connect those wire rings to my battery up on the thing on the car so i have to have it run through my car and go through there and um that's really the only wiring and then after that everything should work so it's kind of just like i might not be able to bolt everything down but just have it set up and have it like a temporary thing and then maybe if i don't have the right tools i can just drive over to my pop pop's house and have him bolt stuff down but he does live like 30 minutes away so i don't know or i can just detach i just have to detach the speaker because that's the only thing that would fall off <laughs> while i'm driving and stuff so like if i do get everything and i just need like help with the like bolting stuff down then that's just what i would have to do but we're going we're going to try to get this thing started for y'all i've been talking for a little bit but i'll have a link of when the video actually like start starts if you don't want to hear me talk because you ain't come here for that you came here to figure out how to do this just like i'm trying to figure it out so i'm gonna come back to y'all when i detach of what i already did last night so i'll be back and we're gonna try to get this thing started all right leave the negativity somewhere else because honestly i don't give a damn like i already know i'm gonna be doing stuff wrong or saying stuff wrong i don't care whatever matt the only thing that matters is me getting this thing in my car so i can mess with people for real for real so as long as i do that or even if i don't because my pop-up gonna help me regardless so if I don't get it right, then he's just going to come help me. And it, the point is that I tried. So, peace out. I'll be right back uh, on when I start actually, like, doing stuff for real, for real. So, all right. And then, again, I know everybody has different cars. But as long as you kind of get the gist of it, then you can probably figure it out and stuff like that. But I'll be back. Peace out. Be right back. I'm going to have a link when the video actually starts. All right. Peace out. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So, I'm back. And I found a little hole um, right here of my car that I can run it through. So I have it. So all the cords that you just need to figure out how to run is the two green ones for the speaker, a red cord and a black cord. And it has to run over to be in the front. Now, the only cords that really need to be up here is the red and the black because it needs to connect to the battery. So I have it running through here and I got it. So I already got the black one uh, wrapped around the wire of this one. So right now this is good. And now I just have to figure out what to do about the speaker one. But right now so far so good. So just find something to run it. All right, you guys. So I have it running through. I just have the batteries running through. So the red with the positive the black with the negative running through i don't know if you can see it so i'm gonna flip the camera over but um basically what i did is just like connect the cords i found a way to run it through now it's going to be temporary i am going to need my grandfather um just so i can make sure that the cords don't get unloose and stuff because i don't have the right tools to like wrap the um the wire around because it has to be like wrapped around the battery thingy but I just don't have the right stuff. So it's kind of just like a temporary thing um, until I feel comfortable going over there uh, for him to do it. But I do have it running and it's like running through my door. And I know that's like another thing, but I just couldn't find like a hole to uh, do it with. So 
I'm just doing like a temporary thing just because I'm so excited to like get it in my car. So this is just going to be a temporary, but like the next place I drive to probably would be his house. So I'm just going to connect it. So the cords come through right here and I can have it running through over here. Like I said, everybody has different car setups and stuff like that. So it's not going to be the exact same unless you do have the same car as me, then okay. But I'm going to have these and then I'm going to connect it to there and I'm going to turn my car on and we're going to hope no fire starts and we're going to hope that it's battery. And then once we do do that, I'm going to find a place for the speakers to go. But right now I'm just going to see if I got the power part, the power part correctly. <laughs> so you guys, just an inside view of what I'm doing. So these are the cords that are running through. So it's the red and the black. So sorry, I'm still coughing a little bit. So I'm trying not to cough in you guys' ear. But um, the black cord and then the red cord that are running from touching the battery and stuff. So the direction is right here. So red is positive, black is negative. So I'm just getting from this part and I'm just connecting. I'm looking for the right colors and I'm just connecting them. So uh, I had to strip the wire. I just used a knife and I just got enough. So the wire is showing and I'm going to wrap it around these two. And then I'm gonna get some of the tape just to cover it up so I won't have no wires like exposed. So that's just what I'm doing. Um, I don't have my tripod on me, so I have to turn the camera off while I'm doing that. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm finished. And then I'm gonna check the battery one last time to make sure everything's okay. And then I'm gonna start my car and see if it works. Then we're gonna worry about the speaker where we're gonna put it. So I'm gonna just wrap this up and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right, you guys, so I do have both of them uh, connected with the tape over it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just check it. One last time on the battery, I'm getting direction. And I'm just making sure like I connect with the right wires, the right wire. Then I'm gonna turn the car on and I'm gonna see if I can get some power on this show. And then we gonna worry about the speakers. Okay, you guys. So, like I said, uh, I'm gonna flip it over so y'all can see a close up view of the battery. But it says the black is negative, all right? And then a plus for the red for positive, right? All right. So I got it, black, red, this paper says red is for positive, so red, positive, black is negative, negative, red, I mean black. So we about to go turn my car over and hopefully we don't see no smoke or nothing. All right. Oh, hold on. I got to Okay, the speakers are already connected. So the speakers are right here and uh, i'm gonna just leave it on the floor uh already had the wires connected i'm gonna put tape over it um uh, later uh for it i haven't vacuumed my car out i've been sick like i said so ignore the messiness going on but hold on i'm gonna come right back to you guys real quick hold on all right y'all so i'm about to turn my car on Let's hope this works. Uh, if it doesn't, I'm gonna hurry up and turn the car off. Hopefully I don't damage nothing. All right, three, two, one. All right. Don't see no smoke happening. All right. Okay. Ah, <gasps> okay. It's on. No smoke. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, I just need to get gas. Okay. because the speaker is right there okay let's see about the mic hello stop oh shit i got it <laughs> oh snap i got it all right y'all we we in there we in there y'all so we got it all right you guys so this is how it's gonna look for right now um and i'm just gonna do a little another closed test for you guys to make sure that everything is secure so I'm sorry, I'm closing this. Alright. And push down, and it's good. So that's for this part, and then now it's just. Oh, you about to see how it goes? Alright, you guys. So I kind of still have a lot of wires exposed uh, right here. And only because I don't want to bolt um, the box down until uh, my grandfather does and like fix everything for me. So I just have it where it's enough space where it won't be like in my way. So I got it like this and then I would just, I installed this as well in my car, but um, so I have it right here. Just hold the power button down 
get there. Like that. All set. Woo!